Michael Morkov leads Fabio Sabatini and then on his wheel and on is uh, Elia Viviani and then we have Sam Bennett as well we've got another rider Jem Drucker of BMC also to want, wants a bit of a sniff of the action Steve Barr the Czech road champion the pace is so infernal riders are just leeling the wheels they've got a couple of little curves still to go one kilometer to go now on the final stage of the Giro d'Italia well 1k now and he's still got two riders he's got Morkov and then Sabatini, and then Viviani, and then you've got Bennett on the wheel, so still enough firepower for Viviani. Well, there we go, Nicola Bonifacio is also there. You can see Matti Mohoric looking round, riders losing the wheel now. The pace is so, so high still to Denek Stibar. What a strong rider Stibar is, just coming in to the finishing straight of the Via del Forti. Imperiali just moving up the outside. It's Matti Mohoric with Nicola Bonifacio on his wheel. Bonifacio just goes into the slipstream. This is Bonifacio going very, very long indeed. It is still Sabatini, Morkov, Sabatini, Elia Viviani, Matti Mohoric leading out. Then we've got Morkov, Morkov. Off takes to the front, Sabatini in his slipstream, Elia Viviani is there, so is the Irish, the rider up from Porta Hansko, Sam Bennett, bumping and bustling also in the mix, is Belletti of Androni Giocattoli, also there is Jim Petrak, but Viviani launches, Viviani on the right hand side, opening up a gap, Bennett on the left, Viviani on the right, oh this is so close, Viviani, Bennett, Viz Bennett takes the win, oh spectacular finale there, Sam Bennett, a hat-trick victory, taking it on the line from Elia Viviani. Well, what can you say about that? He sat, he waited, he bided his time. Viviani, he had the perfect lead out. He went, he was bumping, he was barging with Bonifacio. That is Bora Hansgrohe, if you, if you hadn't realised by now, in the VIPs. What an incredible victory. He sat there, he had the wheel, he waited, he waited, he had the legs, and in the end, Viviani knew. He just stopped pedalling before the line. What a sprint by Sam Bennett. A hat-trick of wins for the Irishman. Wow. What a spectacular duo this has been. We've got several riders who have dominated with multiple wins, and one of them now is Sam Bennett. Three stage wins. His maiden is second. And now his first on, well, the Queen sprint stage of the Giro d'Italia was there. What a place to do it, and what a sprint. We'll have a look at it again in slow motion very, very shortly, but that was special. Outpacing Viviani, but coming off his wheel, perfect timing. Bonifacio really getting in the mix there, shaking things up, trying to get the advantage. Moresco took him up the outside. Look at that. All smiles for quick step. Fantastic stuff. Bora Hansgrohe will go away with a rider in the top ten. Patrick Conrad finds seventh place and three stage wins to the good for the Irishman. Well, there we have the confirmation. Sam Bennett of Bora Hansgrohe and Ireland takes stage 21 of the Giro d'Italia here in beautiful Roma from Elia, Elia Viviani. Gempi Drucker of BMC, a fine third place for him with Baptiste Plancart in fourth. Just talk us through. Good bit of riding here by Mohor. It's so, so strong yep. to, to bring Bonifat to his There you place. go. You can see just as the quick step train goes off the front, you've got Bonifacio bumping and barging. Morkov, he knew he was coming, sticks him straight in the wind. Then so does Sabatini. Now watch Viviani. He'll come across. Bang! Straight across. Stick Bonifacio straight out in the wind. Bonifacio's got nowhere to go. Sam Bennett just sticks to that wheel. He is there in four, in third wheel. Now Viviani goes. Bennett waits, waits. Now he spots the line and he knows the point where he has to go. It looks like he's got a smooth bit of road as well. And then he hits the front. Viviani, he knew. And do, and do you know what? I think Viviani looked. I mean, we'll we'll look back. We'll never. We'll, maybe we'll never know. But looking at the, the cadence, it looked like there was a bit more torque going through the bike of Sam Bennett. Had a better gear, and it looks like. Look at, the, look at the high cadence, I think. Viviani's back wheel yeah. all over the place. Skipping. Maybe one sprocket difference, but perfect timing. Came off road so patiently. There's a bit of bumping and barge, and you expect that in sprinting. Viviani, get you. he just lost, lost traction. Yeah, he didn't lost. have it. He, he, was, he, was, he was higher cadence as opposed to that man there, Bennett. Big gear, really churning it round. Not skipping. He's a heavier rider as well. What a win. Well, that was a superb performance. One by finger, but that's his third stage. Yep, we need to get that right. Look at that. By length from Elia Viviani. Superb riding by the BMC rider, Jean Pietro. Baptiste Plancart, a fine fourth. And Emanuele Belletti in fifth. Your top ten.
Sasha Modlo in sixth, Bonapazio seventh, Venturini eighth, Paolo Simoni, good ride by the Ardipadiani rider in ninth, and then Sabatini, the lead out rider for Viviani in a tenth spot. But what a finale. All smiles for the Irishman. Big, big win. Big, big power, but got it right technically as well. Skill, the technical aspect, and I think what he was maxed out cadence wise, wasn't he? Look, banging, sliding about. Yeah, he's no it. traction at all there on the back wheel. Yeah. Sprinting out of the saddle in the rough pet in the rough section as well, and he, he knew it. Yeah. Very very different sprint to we to what we're used to seeing. You will see Viviani sprint in a slightly high gear with that track kind of prowess that he's got. He can really spin a higher a, low, a lower gear effectively, but it's no good on that sort of surface. It's okay for us to sit here and look at it, but he made the decision to go. But his back wheel, his weight hadn't kind of changed much to when he normally sprints on tarmac and that I think made that little bit of difference enough for Bennett to come through who had his technique absolutely dialed. I s timed it absolutely to perfect.